The world has waited patiently for this day. The day I finally say, we're playing NFL head coach, and we're going to actually do something with it. I think it's time to make a series happen. This has been a lot of time in the making, and there's no better time than the present. So welcome everybody to NFL Head Coach 09, the classic title that allows you to simulate the experience of being a head coach slash general manager, but takes away your ability to control the players on the field. But it offers a lot more depth than we see these days in Madden, and I've yet to give this game the chance it truly deserves. And I've been missing out. So it's time, everybody. We're playing NFL Head Coach today. I hope you're ready for it. And the chat is filling up. Good afternoon, everybody. Or good morning on the West Coast. Or Hawaii. So what I've been thinking here is... Going back to what I've been talking about now for a little bit, what if I were to do a series in a live stream format like this and then I chop it up for the second channel? That's what I think this could become here. You can all help me out because I'm sure a lot of you have more knowledge about this game than I do. I did not play NFL Head Coach 09 when it was new. I've played it a few times over the years, but nothing too major. I will play some MLB sometime, but today I really wanted to play head coach. I just really wanted to play this game and give everybody what they've been asking for. What's going on, Dwayne, Cole, Dwight, Chase, Taylor? We got NFL news going out as well, so we can have some live reaction to some of that. There's already been some big news here. Looks like Eric Armstead just got his big extension. What? DeAndre Hopkins to the Cardinals? You're kidding me. Why would they do that? Why would Houston make that move? Y'all just going to trade maybe the best receiver in the game. <laughs> wow. David Johnson was traded to the, the Texans, but Adam Schefter reported just one minute ago. Texans are trading DeAndre Hopkins to Arizona per source. <laughs> what on earth is Bill O'Brien doing? Is he the GM still? I know they had like this weird power structure, which by the way, the last time I saw a power structure as a front office, it led to Christian Ponder being made a first round pick. That he's the head coach and GM. He thinks he's Bill Belichick. <laughs> oh man, the NFL is wild, everybody. This is all Chip Kelly's fault. The day he traded LaShawn McCoy for Kiko Alonso was the day this all started. Wow, what a move for Arizona. What a move. How do you justify that? Wow, I, I don't even know what they're thinking. The Texans are a team that... They were already a very volatile team because of their weaknesses up front on the offensive line. And then there's defense outside of their pass rushing. And now they traded away one of their greatest advantages. So they can try to build a 1984 offense. Around a player who regressed majorly a year ago.
Bill O'Brien needs to be taken as far away from the, the controls here as possible. Right now, the framework, according to Adam Schefter, is Cardinals get DeAndre Hopkins and a late pick. Texans get David Johnson and a second-round pick. Other picks involved, but Hopkins wanted a new deal that Arizona can provide. Oh, man. Yeah, I think I'll do a lot of streaming this week. I think that... I don't know. I think this is good for everybody just to have this kind of format. I want to put out a lot of content regardless, but I think like, you know, being live kind of takes your mind off of everything here and it's a, it's a bit different experience. We can all go back and forth and obviously these are longer than videos. So F's in the chat for all the Texans fans out there. I cannot believe the news that just came out if you just clicked on DeAndre Hopkins traded to the Arizona Cardinals <laughs> I can't believe it but yeah we are gonna play some NFL head coach today and I want to revisit the Miami Dolphins because they were atrocious in this game and I think they'd make for a fun team to rebuild Man, the Ravens are such a well-run organization, Dwayne. They're one of the most well-run organizations in sports and have been for a long time. And Calais Campbell in that move is just another example. Um, you know, they've made a lot of really good decisions over the years. Getting Lamar Jackson, of course, and uh, really changing up the offense and adapting on the fly. They are... A very smart team. They drafted really well with Ozzie Newsome, and now with Eric DaCosta, they are continuing it. But yeah, Calais Campbell for a five. I mean, a fifth round pick. Fifth round pick might be a special teams player. Might be Stefan Diggs. Won't be, but yeah, trading uh low round picks for veterans is. One of the best uh, advantages I think you can have in the league. How long before Bill O'Brien is fired? Um, give it under a year because, I mean, I'm not a huge long-term believer in the Texans to begin with. Just because, like I've said, their team construction is just too volatile. Their entire success blueprint relies on Deshaun Watson running for his life and making things happen out of structure. And... This ain't going to work. They were going to cut Calias because of cap. Yeah, the, the Jaguars are in a tough spot. But I mean, for a team like the Ravens to be able to acquire him for a five is pretty awesome. Sounds like the blueprint for the Broncos and Taquan Layton. Well, we haven't taken the same route, that's for sure. If you're the Jags, do you trade Foles? I don't know if you can find the trade partner. Um, with There's other veterans on the market that you don't have to give a Nick Foles deal to. Nick Foles didn't just you know win a Super Bowl and have another run into the postseason with Philadelphia. Um, other quarterbacks haven't done that. You can get Marcus Mariota much cheaper. And there are a couple other options out there. I don't think they're going to be able to trade Foles. Unless a team is willing, unless they're willing to give up picks. But if you're the Jaguars, like, you need picks. You can't just dump a player as a cap casualty and give a, give a pick. They're not in that position. I mean, there, ha there would have to be a team like the Browns when they dealt for Osweiler to pick up that second round pick. And I'm not sure there's a team desperate enough right now to make that happen. The, the Dolphins already have Fitzmagic, so they're okay there. Um, that's not a move a team like the Bears makes. So who's left? Like, the Bengals if they lose Dalton? I think Fitz is returning. Oh, oh 
man. The Panthers, if they trade Cam. Uh, yeah, the Panthers could be full-on fire sale right now. I don't know what they're going to do, but if they, like, don't keep Cam, I think it's full-on fire sale. Uh, Kirk was already re-signed today. Kirk Cousins, two-year extension. I, as a Viking fan, I'm okay with it. I know how hard it is to replace uh, even a quarterback in the level uh, that gives you level of play that Kirk Cousins does. And he's coming off maybe the best season of his career, which started out terribly with the first four games. Um, picking where the Vikings are and in the situation the team is in, I'm cool with it just because I want to maximize this current window and it frees up short-term cap space. It might hurt them down the road, but I'd rather uh, take the negative side of it later than now because I believe in the core with Adam Thielen, Stefan Diggs, Daniil Hunter, Harrison Smith. A couple years from now, when this deal could blow up in their face, a lot of these players are going to be a little bit older. So I think if the Vikings want to win, they either... The Vikings have two options to me. You extend Cousins and go all in right now, or you blow the whole team up. Right now. Or next year, when Cousins' guaranteed contract would be down. I don't think Diggs is going anywhere, but DeAndre Hopkins just got traded, so we'll see. The Cardinals are going to be really, really interesting. Tua? I mean, Miami still seems like a, a good destination for him. Man, the NFL is just wild. But we're here for NFL head coach, everybody. So I'm uh, recording this all right now, of course, as I do all my live streams. I have it recording right now without the jar on the right side, the tip jar, the channel member goal, and without my webcam also, just because um, I think that if I were to edit this down for the second channel to make a series, it'd just be cleaner with nothing on screen but the gameplay. But we are going to play some NFL head coach. I've wanted to play this game for a long time, and it's been requested for so long, and I just haven't done it until today. If Houston got a first in DJ, they would be good. Yeah, that would be, uh... That'd be something if it were the first round pick, but it's not. It's going to be like number 40, not number 8. Not a big fan of 17 games or the expanded postseason, but it is what it is. CBA doesn't look like a very good one for the players. I don't think they got anywhere near enough. No, Texans, I think, are going to get a second round pick out of this. I can't believe that move. <clears throat> Want to finish that quick before I got room temp and disgusting. No, I do not like the extended playoffs. I think the 12-team playoff was as good as it could be. And it allowed the right teams in and excluded the, the right teams as well. If Houston lands Amari in free agency, the move makes a lot more sense. Lateral moves like that are kind of strange. Um, but, yeah, I, I guess it's possible. I, I mean, I just can't connect the dots there in a way that makes sense to me. But can we talk about how trade-happy Bill O'Brien has been? Laramie Tunsil, Kenny Stills, David Johnson, Jacob Martin, Barkevius Mingo, and some picks, and then traded away Jadevian Clowney, DeAndre Hopkins, and a couple other players and picks. Mm. 
<clears throat> I'd be upset too about that D hop trade. I I can't even try to make sense of it. Are the Texans in a rebuild at this point? They were on the cusp of it before. They're in a rebuild as of this moment. Love Deshaun Watson. I think he'll give them, you know, at least a ceiling. But that floor is as low as it gets for that team. All right, everybody. Why don't we play? Won't it be weird seeing teams go 8 and 9? Yes, I don't like it. Going 10 and 7. No, I don't. Oh. How about 16 and 1? Oh, yeah, the Seahawks have a chance. I, I like that team a lot. I don't think they're in that bad of shape. Packers need a new backup. Yeah, I, I is Tim Boyle really their QB too? Hmm. Well, Packers are they're sadly in good shape right now. As long as they go get a receiver, and if they do, I'm not going to be very happy about it. Yeah, I'm going to play Animal Crossing for sure. I was upset Nintendo didn't release it early. That's a very entitled thing to say. But, release the game early! It was a week! Diggs traded to Houston for Laramie in a second. That'd be a lot to process if they tried that. Hoping the Giants sign either Littleton or Conklin. Either one of those would be pretty good moves for them. They've been trying to get linebackers for years. I think Corey Littleton would be solid. But um, knowing Dave Gettleman, he would go all in on Jack Conklin. No, we're not doing digs to DC. He's not going home to Maryland. All right, let's play some NFL head coach. We'll re react to more of this as we continue, but the stream has been live now for a few minutes and we still have not played a football game yet or anything. We're 18 minutes in. I wonder if I can do the recording here without... Uh, no, it's only uh, visual sources. I can't, like, exclude... Oh, yeah, that doesn't make any sense. There's only one audio channel. All right. It's time, everybody, after this long, long time I've been making content to finally play NFL Head Coach 09. It's been requested for a very long time, and it's time for me to deliver it here. And we are going to play this as the Miami Dolphins. They are one of the worst teams in this game. And when this game came out, they were coming off, what was it, the 0-16 or the 1-15 season. This is a very weak playbook situation, a very hard difficulty, a very weak roster. And here we go. We're going to make ourselves a brand new head coach today and take over the Miami Dolphins. Who should our head coach be? Ja'Cory Day, James Huggins, Anton Greenberry. There are like 160 options here.
Brandon Warren going back in time. Bill O'Brien just make all sorts of wild trades here. I was looking at the Dolphins roster when I started the game up and they actually have uh, um, a pretty good offensive line to work with here to start out. So that's kind of nice. Now I'm probably going to do a lot of simulating here. I don't think I will be doing um, a whole lot of playing. Maybe some. Am I going to make this a new series? Well, right now, I'm, I'm trying to make that happen. I'm trying. What do we think of Coach 89 here? I already talked about the DeAndre Hopkins trade and everything. I've been reacting to NFL news for like 20 minutes. Let's go to fantasy name generator. Um, for MLB The Show, I'm probably going to try doing something along the lines of my Buccaneers series. I know I probably should be playing that game right now, but I want to play head coach. And judging by how many people are in here right now, a lot of you want to see it. Do I have an idea? Yes. Let me, uh... I have an idea for this and thank you for all the super chats that are rolling in here i'll do my best to uh not miss any questions or anything there thank you samuel for the super chat you just sent Hey, Kane, wanted to know your thoughts on the Jets. Uh, I guess right now I, I don't think extremely highly of them. I wonder what the offense is going to look like next year if they do keep Le'Veon Bell, um, how they try to replace Robbie Anderson. I don't know. I guess I'm not really too big on the Jets right now. I'm not I'm also not really a big uh believer in Adam Gase. We're going to make grandfather John Charles here. We're adding a member to the John Charles family today. Hayden's grandpa. The newest member of the Jean Charles family. I need a first name. Does it let you do dashes in here? Hyphenated names? No, I might have to do a space. Hank Jean Charles. Yes, character limit isn't too aggressive.
Hope Raiders and Giants fix things, and I hope you're well. Thank you for the super chat, Thomas. Yeah, I mean, I'm not really a big Dave Gettleman fan. I would have more hope in the Raiders making some good decisions personally. Hmm. What do we think about the name Harley? Harley Jean Charles. That is the head coach of the Miami Dolphins. Now, one of the cool things here is you can start out near the NFL draft. You can actually redo the draft. And um, you can select a lot of players that we now know became very good. It doesn't mean the game recognizes that and they'll develop as well in the game. But I think I want to stay with uh, the team, the roster that is set. Okay. What kind of personality here do we want to give Harley Jean Charles? You get a lot of options. You get three in Madden. Okay, so Ally, a loyal and dependable team player that can fit in wherever he goes. Titan, tough as nails, team player whose joy in life comes from crushing the competition. Titan sounds like a good option right now. Anchor, a very relaxed individual who is as patient and dependable as they come. I think it's going to be hard to top Titan. Let's see at the top here what they have. Commander, a driven individual that is team-oriented, dependable, and willing to take charge. Superstar, traditionalist. All right, I think Titan is what we want to do here for Harley Jean Charles. His only joy in life comes from winning, so it's a good thing he's taking over a 1-15 in team. Choose skills and special skills to give your coach a competitive advantage. All right, what do we have here? I don't remember a lot of this stuff. So we have Team Chemistry... This lowers the chance that players take negative status actions and decreases the chance of older players retiring. How far can you scroll here? Whoa! But it's all like positions. So you have learning development. You have intangibles development. How does that differ? Developing play knowledge. And then developing intangible attributes. Then the other one is physical attributes. Game day success rate. Wow, there's a lot to this here. No! The Bears might be signing Teddy Bridgewater? No! They're looking into it. Alright. Where should we put some of these points? The cost here, 2,000. We do have 50,000 points to spend. Now, I also have special skills I have to worry about. Increases quarterback's awareness and evasion of defenders. Receiving stats related to catching. Okay. Okay. So I think I have to decide here what type of head coach I want to have. You can have coordinators in this game, correct? And they'll have kind of their own set of uh, things to worry about. I think obviously we have to look at developing a quarterback. 
So I should probably get some of those skills. I don't know who our starter is going to be right away. Our quarterbacks are not very good on this team. You have an entire coaching staff already. I guess we'll learn more about them as we continue. So why don't we start out with a couple quarterback packages then. Let's go with uh, an intangible boost here for the quarterback position. That's a couple thousand points. And then down here, there's also the play knowledge. So let's buy first two upgrades, go to our quarterbacks. I'm going to cut some music actually, if you don't mind. If you want the music, let me know. Uh, maybe I do need it. <laughs> For special skills. Quarterbacks, awareness, and evasion of defenders. And then as you go down the skill tree here, they have different skills. So it's not upgrading just the same one. So let's start out with a couple quarterback upgrades. These special skills are a lot more expensive, so I feel like I should probably not go too heavy in this area yet. Defines how good a coach is at calling the plays. That sounds important enough. I bought it. Can I get some uh, feedback here on where I should spend some of these points? Physical attributes. Let's buy this package to help develop physical skills for wide receivers. Might have to get a couple of those because the receiver situation on this team isn't very good. Offensive line. See, the offensive line here is actually pretty good, so I don't think I'll do a lot of that in the beginning. I don't mind buying one of those packages, but the O-line is the strength of this Dolphins team, actually. Let's buy this package for the defensive backs to work on their intangibles. Let's also get the knowledge development here for wide receivers. I know we're really going to have to work on developing a passing game here. The quarterback and receiver positions are really rough. Glad to have you here, Chris. I'm here to just help entertain everybody and hopefully have some fun here on the game. It's a wild time, that's for sure. Kickers for clutch game moments. I don't think we're going to have too many clutch kicks for a while. I mean, a field goal doesn't do you much good down 20. So let's wait till we're a, a better team maybe before we worry about how good the kicking game is. Why don't we buy this skill here? Receiver Discipline increases receiver stats related to catching. That allows us to go to improved release and then improved catching. Improved QB reads. That's important enough to address right now, but no more special skills. <laughs> Blackjack on Twitter. He saw the DeAndre Hopkins news. Hi, I'd like to speak to the manager. <laughs> no, you don't, Blackjack. You do not want to talk to Bill O'Brien and know what's going through his head right now. Ugh. 
Rams might trade Cooks. That wouldn't surprise me. They didn't really utilize him much a year ago. No, Blackjack isn't a Texans fan, but he has a lot of love for all the Clemson greats. They had, you know, Deshaun Watson and DeAndre Hopkins, so I'm sure he was uh, rooting for them the last few years. Alright, some more skills here. I think we should worry about the physical attributes for our defensive linemen as well. Why don't we go to the next level here with the wide receivers development? I'm not sure how important the intangibles are in this game for certain positions, but we'll also upgrade receiver here. A lot of investment there. And why don't we also go to intangibles for linebacker play? We have 9,000 remaining. Oh yeah, I forgot about these top ones here. Defines how good the coach is at calling plays. Why don't we do the worthwhile adjustments and suggestions on game day? Because you know we're going to be in tough spots. we got to be able to adapt on the fly. Would you consider trading Jason Taylor? Go Finns. Thank you for the super chat, Maddie. I haven't gotten that far yet, but Jason Taylor is one of the best players on this team. So, if we're not going to be very good, he's probably one of our best trade assets. Let's also upgrade our team chemistry here. I think I should do a little bit for pretty much all of these. At least one level for the top four. And then I can spend the rest on physical attributes for not running backs. We're actually okay at running back. As much as I want to work on that, you all know. How about we end up with the intangibles for offensive line. And now, broke. No points left. In career mode, players learn their team's playbook. Choose the default playbook unless you want them to relearn everything. Now, it says our playbook strength is weak. We could just change to another one. So how does it work here? Man, how, how does this exactly work? Because on the surface, I wouldn't want to pick a weak playbook. But is there like a learning curve if I pick something else? A little late. How was your team? Oh, we're just starting. You didn't miss much, Tracy. I uh, spent the first 20 minutes reacting to NFL news. DeAndre Hopkins to the Cardinals. Man. It's like scheme fit. Be ahead of the curve, become a spread offense. That's one way to go. What kind of uh, passing game do we want then? I'm okay building like a, a spread offense. Do we run the run and shoot right here? College attack. You can run the wing T in this game? Are you kidding me? The wishbone offense is in this game. <laughs> Come on. How would that even work? The Michigan spread. They're only 75 plays. The pistol attack. Ooh. We can go to like the infancy of the pistol offense. The spread option is definitely intriguing. The Peyton spread attack. 
New Orleans offense. Yeah, you can create your own plays in here. It's really cool. My high school offense runs the wing T, and it's so bad. Now imagine the Miami Dolphins here running the wing T. <laughs> Ah, uh, Jamila! Glad you showed up. There are a lot of different playbooks in here. I wish I could see a little more detail about them. But I agree, I think that I'd like to go for kind of a spread offense. Although it wouldn't fit our team right now. We're built to run the football. We have a decent offensive line and some running backs. So, I'm thinking about that. Like, where are we versus where I want to go? The pistol offense would be fun. I'm not sure how well it is uh, designed in this game. The pistol offense was not very uh, developed in this time. All right, we're going to have to find uh, a couple schemes here, everybody. Seeing Childress offense gave me bad flashbacks. <laughs> yeah, some pretty bad ones. Passes to Nafahu Tahi at fullback those days. The Texans no blitz. Vikings cover two. We're staying as far away from that as possible. Man, the Jim Johnson playbook has more blitzes than non-blitzes. I know I want to run probably a zone-oriented defense here. I don't want to be a very blitz-heavy team, at least right now. I think that... Um, it's probably better for us to play a more conservative style defense until we can leverage risk against the better offense. That's the way I look at it. The Saints basic D might be a, an okay way to start things here. It's a very balanced playbook. The strength it says is very weak, whatever that means. Not running the 4-6. How about the Panthers pass rush playbook? I'm not running an old school offense. Not one advertised as such. Blake Jarwin, three year extension worth up to $24 million. Whoa. Who wants to run the pistol offense here with the Miami Dolphins? Give me some feedback. Over 700 of you watching this over 10-year-old game right now. All right, the pistol offense. If it doesn't work, well, we're probably going to be a bad team anyway. So that's our offense. And we're going to start things. It'd be fun to go back to the draft and redo it all. But we're going to begin in the NFL preseason. But if you wanted to, you could do a draft. Redo the 2008 draft. But we're going to preseason using current rosters. And here we are, everybody. Harley Jean Charles with a pistol attack offense. The Panthers pass rush uh, defense. We have the Titan personality. If he's not winning, he's not going to be very happy. Time to begin the career. The loading screen is telling me about basically the senior bowl. Oh man, I can't wait to see some of this stuff in action. Because when I've played head coach... I've played head coach. I didn't actually go through a lot of the offseason 
I've never seen an offseason in this game. Besides, like, the draft you do beforehand and whatnot. So, I haven't really seen the fun stuff. I focused on the gameplay, which is the weakest part of this game. So, I have a 63 approval here to start out here in beautiful Miami, Florida. We have 12 days until week one versus Tampa Bay. I think that's preseason week one because it's July 28th, 2008. Four in the morning. Why am I even awake right now? I'm slowing down the simming. All right, we have a couple things now on the clipboard to take care of. We have new season goals. What do we have here? Here you can view your current season goals, approval impacts, and the deadline for each goal. The goals give you an idea of what you need to do as a head coach to run a successful NFL franchise. So the owner is talking to me here. Uh, we have some goals here. I want us to trade for Bears tight end Desmond Clark. And that would give a uh, GM plus 40. A failure wouldn't really affect it. So, the game recognizes I'm head coach and GM, correct? So, that is a goal for me to make happen. It is a very specific goal. I don't like it. But these are all the goals right now. We have to increase Jake Long's play knowledge to 30% learned or mastered. And that would actually be bad if we failed. And then Samson Satelli's play knowledge. Ronnie Brown. Add 10 new plays before the preseason is over. I have to create some new plays. Oh man, I love this. Maybe it's like an optional goal since there is no penalty. Yeah, that's the way I'm looking at it. Health and fatigue. What do we have here? So, this is a list of all players on the team who are banged up or hurt. You can decide to play or sit any player on this screen. Not everybody is 100% despite us being in the middle of summer. Okay, so some players are still recovering then. What's the... Do we have any low fatigue on this team? We sure do. I'm not sure what's making these players' fatigue and health so low. Training camp invite. What do we have here? Do I get to invite players to, like, a tryout? That's exactly what it means! A training camp invite! Street free agents and rookies from all over the country. I love NFL head coach. This is how Adam Thielen. Not exactly. That was a rookie mini camp, which is held after the draft. This is training camp. Wow. 38 overall punter, Ronaldo Smiley from Rhode Island. No quarterbacks to invite. That's a little disappointing. No running backs. Wait a minute. There's got to be a running back. There are veterans also you can invite here. I think I should take a look at the roster though. Wait a minute. There are only four players here. I can't scroll. Oh, here are guys that I invited to camp. Who's talking to me right now? Who's doing this? They invited a left tackle, Eli Allen, Marco Higgins. It says 91 overall. I'm sure that's not even close to correct. Karan McAllister from UC Davis and Ronaldo Smiley. Probably director of personnel. Okay. Yeah, I don't know all the depth here. I'm learning as I go, and a big part of this is, like, I wanted to do it live so you could help me. What drills are we going to run today? 
I'm loving this right now. Choose one game plan from the list below. Improve offense, play knowledge. We could train a rookie. Or we could improve our play knowledge of some other ones. The triple option. I don't think we should work on that right now. What have I done? Choosing the pistol offense. I could choose like a core defensive play. Like a, like a standard cover three. That's one thing that makes sense to me. Is just... Let's choose a general play that has a lot of use. Alright, work on our cover three defense there. We have trade negotiations now. Don't you have Pat White? If we do, something might happen. Why don't we take a look? I can't stop time. I can pause, and that's about it. But uh, I'm working on real time right here. It's like playing The Sims. Why don't we take a look at our roster? We haven't taken a... Uh, a look here yet but at quarterback we have Josh McCown John Beck and Aaron Brooks the veteran Aaron Brooks the cousin of Mike Vick we don't have Pat White but I might want to add a mobile quarterback seeing as how we do have this pistol scheme I'm trying to run right now Tom Brady the Chargers I don't see that All right, that running back, Ricky Williams. Only a 78 overall in this game. Let's sort by overall. Ronnie Brown is the starter. He's on a big contract, by the way. This is $34 million a salary. Two years left on the deal. Why don't we look at his player card here? Obviously, running backs were given big deals back in the day. Take a look at what Carolina did with Jonathan Stewart and D'Angelo Williams. Doesn't really happen these days. And there's the contract breakdown. Obviously, we're playing with uh, salary caps and numbers from over 10 years ago. So, the cap has risen tremendously since this time. Only cares about the team willing to help in any way. That's what I'm talking about, Ronnie Brown. Look at all the personality traits. He's a problem solver. Average NFL player. I think he's above average. He's not paid like he's average. And, okay, the whole offense for Ronnie is unlearned. So we better work on that. And here's progression. Man. Vikings gave linebacker Eric Wilson the second round tender. Yes, Ollie Sparks and Tyrus Sparks are indeed related. So what I'm thinking I'll do is I'll try to cut this up into a video for the second channel. Again, all the overlays are not being recorded right now. My webcam won't be there. None of the other overlays will, just the gameplay and my voice with the whatever sounds coming through. Just so we can um, have a cleaner video view. So at fullback, Reagan... I don't want to mess up the pronunciation there. 296 pounds at fullback. Ted Ginn. Derek Hagen. Ernest Wilford. Tab Perry. Greg Camarillo. Devon Bess. 47 overall. So a young Ted Ginn. And you can see here why they want us to address tight end with Desmond Clark. We don't have a, a strong situation there. But where this team is actually pretty well set up is the offensive line. It's a really good starting point. I doubt this 91 overall is real. But regardless, I think it could be a lot worse. maui -A, That makes sense. maui -A. Matt Roth at defensive end. Jason Taylor is our franchise player here. He's the number one overall player we have. He's a Pro Bowl defensive end. Is in Hawaii in February. Has potential to be great. Has decent athletic ability. 
and he's elite with his football IQ. Here's the contract breakdown. Might be the final year of his contract as well, so one thing to consider here if we want to make a trade. One of the best ever in the NFL, tireless work ethic. Average NFL player. Come on. Sick of losing, though. Win more games or he'll start causing problems. Vonnie Holiday, the former Packer. Joey Porter. Akin Ayadell. Channing Crowder. Abraham Wright. Joey Thomas. Will Allen. Jason Allen. Jeremiah Bell. Jay Feely. Brandon Fields. And of course, our picks. We have one pick in each round right now. For the next two drafts. And we also have a young Josh McCown at quarterback. Who is only a six year pro at this point. And he's still playing. What is this download plays? I'm sure there's no server active for this game. How does that work? Does it actually mean downloading plays? Yep, I reacted to DeAndre Hopkins being traded a while ago when it dropped. Like, literally seconds afterwards. I was already live. Not doing any simming right now. We have some negotiations here. If I don't do anything, I guess it goes away. So, Dexter Jackson. We're looking for guard, backer, tight end, center, and strong safety. I just don't think trading for veterans makes any sense. So, no, I'm not interested. We have a practice recap here. So, cover three, what happened? We got 8% learned afterwards. Okay. That's going to be a core defensive play of mine. You always know that. I love cover three. We have trade negotiations for Kerry Collins now. Why would I want to acquire Kerry Collins? Go away. I did see Austin Hooper to the Browns. That one didn't make a lot of sense to me. I think Hooper's good, but um, I don't know. I didn't think that was the right move for the Browns. Free agents. Is there a quarterback available that would fit our scheme? There are no quarterbacks at all on the free agent market. Why is that? Why can't I sign a single quarterback? This is weird because it's showing Sean Alexander here, but then I switched to a position. But now it showed up. At quarterback, though, nothing. Morton Anderson is in this game. Morton Anderson, 47 years old, 26 year pro. My take on the DeAndre Hopkins trade is that Bill O'Brien is, he doesn't know what he's doing.
so here is our pistol offense. I can add or remove plays, it looks like, from the playbook. I'm really worried we're going to run some options, and we're not ready to do that. A lot of this I don't mind. I'm just checking out menus here to see what all I can do. This isn't the right menu for adding a play, though, I don't think. That would be manage plays, I want to say. I want to check something quick. One second. Okay. Alright, we're back. Yep, Joe Tooney got tagged. That happened a little bit ago. Yeah, please leave a like if you haven't yet. And if you want to see more of this, what my plan would be is that I would simply stream it and then cut it up into episodes for the second channel. And I wouldn't be recording it on my own. Is it raining right now? The weather just changed in Miami. We have rainfall here on Monday, July 28th. Now Tuesday the 29th. It's midnight. Coaches don't sleep. The tape is always grinding. What's next? Health and fatigue. Alright, just a little update here. Wow, low fatigue. Can we give him an off day? Keep him out. Trainer says let him play. His right leg has 67% fatigue. It's my team. I'll do what I want. We're also probably going to keep Steve McKinney out. Let's also get... No, Ricky Williams needs to learn the playbook. He's going to play. I'm not trading for AJ Feely. Rookie deal. Chad Henney. What is this? I know how Chad Henney turns out. Rumors Teddy's, Teddy and Bears working on a deal. Thoughts? I thought that they would go after a different quarterback. Um, I love Teddy. I would still want to see him succeed. Just not too much, I guess, if he went to Chicago. Chad Henney is a rookie in this game. So we have to negotiate his rookie deal. So we have some different packages here. Let's get this over with, coach. I have places to be. Excuse me? Are you trying to get released, young man? You are 22 year old. You are a 22 year old rookie. There are 35 packages here. There are incentives! Incentives in contracts in a football game. I have 30 seconds. I can't handle that kind of pressure. We're going with the first deal here. That's the best I can do. I think he took it. Master negotiator right here. Yeah, obviously anything could happen out differently. Don't talk about Stefan Diggs. I'm trying to still... Stay positive about him being a Viking. But it looks like if something happens, I'm here. I'm live. Hey, 
Hey, Coach, how do you want to run today's practice? So our first practice was all about working on the defense. I think we should find uh, an offensive play now to work on. And we're going to be a better running team than passing, so why don't we prioritize a key run here, the halfback dive out of bunch. The Bucks are definitely still in the running for Teddy Bridgewater, I hear. Yes, make that happen. There are all kinds of trade opportunities out there, but they're mostly for veterans I am not interested in. Looks like we wrapped up uh, Tuesday. We got 10% on that one. Okay, so we learned our first offensive play faster than our first defensive play. And another trade. What do we have? Not digs. Hayden Hurst to Atlanta. Hayden Hurst in a fourth round pick for the Falcons 2020 second round pick and a fifth round pick. So they swap out Hooper for Hurst. Yeah, Ravens had too many tight ends. Mark Andrews, uh, Nick Boyle played a lot. Hurst actually did a decent job last year in certain spots. Should I trade for Ken Dorsey, the former Hurricane? 26 years old, 76 overall. But that's the same overall in age as John Beck. Not interested. Another rookie deal here. We have Philip Merling. I don't think I will do an incentivized deal here. For rookies, I'm going to do very small contracts and save incentives for other kinds of deals. Small signing bonus. Nope. How about this offer? We have a counter offer. I offered the worst offer, and now he's countering with the best. Yeah, that's not happening. What if I run out of time? No. What if we increase your signing bonus a little bit? That's the best I can do. Yeah, he accepted. There we go. I am winning these negotiations so far. What are we working on today? Alright, everybody. Time to run another play here. How about we work on a standard passing play now? Now the pause career brings this up, like, to leave the game in mode entirely. Allow me to save. Well, I can't put career in there. Hey, SportsFan98. Thank you for the super chat. Remember when you streamed head coach many years ago with the Lions and Fred Davis rejected your signing offer and just left? I don't remember Fred Davis and him just leaving. But I do remember that stream. Vaguely. I remember doing it with the Lions.
DaCosta got another fifth round pick in the Hearst trade. Time to trade that for another all pro. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> All right, everybody, let's continue the great career here of Harley Jean Charles. Most of these trades are just not interesting. I want to get to the real action here, but we're still stuck in July. All right, the slot read. Okay, so learned and mastered are different concepts, apparently. I don't know the difference necessarily. I guess it's just a level of proficiency. How's Vedvik working out for the Vikings, Kane? Excellent. The Vikings kicking game last year was great. It all worked out in the end. Bo Skyth. He'd actually be an upgrade. But he's not the player that we are supposed to be targeting here actually let's see my approval rating here so far I'm like three days into the job and right now the players definitely approve of me the owner for some reason is skeptical I haven't done anything wrong yet the fans you need to trust the process here. You went 1 and 15 last year. You want change or not? I'm here. The media, 64. Can't trust the media. And the staff, 68. Let's take a look at our staff status then. I want to see how deep this goes. On the hot seat. Excuse me. I just got here. We have an offensive coordinator, Dan Henning. Doing okay. That's a lie. Paul Pascoloni. Doing okay. Special teams coordinator. We have position coaches. This is deep. Todd Bowles, defensive back coach. Wow, they had actual coaches here. This is amazing. Yeah, we've talked about the DeAndre Hopkins news quite a bit. I was here to react to it the second I saw it. It was in the very beginning of the stream. How do I develop my staff? Skill points? Well, I better be able to spend those. Or are those already purchased skill points? He's like maxed out nearly. Wait, this costs points. Don't have enough points. Yeah, I have zero points, actually. Last I checked. D-Hop got traded to the Cardinals. Evaluate roster. Oh, this is a glossary. Yo, Kane, can you do a Mutt series? Mutt is not really for me. I don't really play those card games anymore. Um, I mean, I enjoyed them for, like, the beginning, but the grind, it takes too much time, and it's not really my style of play. You know, this is more what I enjoy, playing a nice, friendly game of an 11 year old title or a 12 year old title that has been long forgotten.
The Miami Dolphins backed out of trade negotiations earlier this afternoon, citing an extremely high asking price. No word yet if they'll still pursue other trade offers. Wow, so they got news alerts here in the game. We have an injury, by the way. Thank you for the super chat. Chargers belong in San Diego. What's up, Kane? Do you think Jameis Winston will sign with the Chargers? I'm hyped to get him because of his LASIK eye surgery he had. I have no clue what to expect from Jameis. Like, that could go any any which way. I think it'd be a one-year deal or something with uh, get out of the deal after one-year structure. The first time I ever heard of a player getting, like, eye surgery or something to improve their vision was Troy Williamson. Maybe it's happened since then. We have a problem here. Josh McCown has a bruised elbow. He's out one to two weeks, and you have 60 seconds to come up with your response. A lot of pressure here. I think we're just going to... I could ignore it. Go to depth chart. Let's see what they're even talking about here. So, I think John Beck is starting right now. He's our top-rated quarterback no matter what. Bernard Pollard? So players can get hurt in practice here. I assumed that would be able to happen. Keeping you out of practice today. Keeping you out of practice today. I haven't barely done anything, and I'm loving this right now. What do you want to tackle today? Yeah, let's work on our engage eight. That sounds like a good plan. Or how about... Let's work on... Hmm, is it the same exact plays? Because I could just work on our cover three. Let that be our base defense right now. Trade negotiation, Mercedes Lewis. Young, 24-year-old Mercedes Lewis. Not right now. There are so many players on the trade block. Wow, the second time I trained it, it wasn't... Wait a minute, is that not the same cover three? Is this a different formation? And that's why it had zero mastered or learned? Because we, I taught them a cover three before, but it might have been from another spot. Oh! oh, I thought it was Santana Moss. No, it's Senoris Moss from the Giants. He would actually be like our number two receiver. We have Ted Ginn, who's like an 85, I think. I just think it would be too much. Right now, I'm not trying to acquire players via trade. I want to see our roster play out a little bit. I'm going to start dismissing a lot of these trade opportunities. I'm not against upgrading at tight end. That was actually one of my goals. I want us to trade for Bears tight end Desmond Clark. Now, can someone explain to me, like, is doing that, like, a really good idea? Is this going to be a long series? If I have fun and everybody enjoys it, it'll be long. Like, I'm just trying to understand this whole goal format here. It affects your approval rating. So, there's a GM rating and a coach rating. Are they both tied to me? Because we have a general manager. 
I'm interested if, like, the GM affects my coach. If that score affects my coach. MLB opening day pushed back mid-May at the earliest. It'll up the approval of the GM. Desmond Clark. Why don't we try to make a trade? Got to work on some of this approval rating here. It's just a 63. So, Desmond Clark at tight end. He is 31 years old on a three-year contract. But his salary is very low. And they just got Greg Olson. So I guess that makes Clark a bit expendable. The Bears are not interested in trading Desmond Clark. What do you want from me, game? My goal is to trade for a player they're not interested in trading. Undrafted rookie bidding. This is beautiful. You can only target or sign up to five during this event. Wow. Oh my god, it's showing Steve Slayton. It's showing Xavier Adibi and Aaron Henderson. Wow. Ramon Foster retired. Yep, confirmed. Tom Pelissero. This is Kane's dream game. I'm having a great time right now. Man, there's a lot of fatigue on this team. I wish I could toggle multiple players here just to uh, let them all rest up a little bit. Yep, Armstead got 85 milli. Sitting some players here. Kane's going to go for another five hours and we're still not going to be in the regular season. <laughs> oh, man. Quinn Sipniewski. I wish I could see some ratings. That's my main gripe right now. I'd love to see some ratings on these players. I think acquiring a tight end is something that's pretty important, though. I should take a look at who our tight end is and just figure out what I want to do there. So, David Martin. He's a 69 overall. I could add him to the trade block. So, here are the grades. Not an NFL caliber athlete. Wonderful. Hasn't proven anything yet. Now, where does it really show, like, attributes? Or does it not really have attributes and it's just those grades? How does that work? Wow, I can see the player team next to their stats. Beautiful. Why did I choose the Dolphins for this? Because A, they're awful. B, I canceled the Dolphins franchise. So it's something for Miami fans. DeAndre Hopkins got traded to the Cardinals, man. Alright, so 80 speed, low jumping, low route running. We definitely have to add a tight end at some point. And I still don't know if we have a quarterback to run this scheme. I picked the pistol offense. I wish I had Pat White. Where's Pat White? Like, I'm serious. Where's Pat White? He has to be in this game. But there were no free agent quarterbacks. Who 
Who did DeAndre Hopkins get traded for? David Johnson and picks. Cardinals fans got to be just stoked right now. Where's Pat White? Here are all the quarterbacks in the game. Cleo Lemon. He was on the Jaguars here? Pat White was 2009 draft class. Oh, man. I'm a year early. So, what do I do then if I want to run this offense? Someone said Pat White in the very beginning, and they got my hopes up. Jared Zabransky from Boise State. DJ Shockley. I'm pretty sure he does media right now for the Atlanta Falcons. I was looking uh, for pronunciation on a couple of names, and he was uh, doing a video on their website. Troy Smith. Ooh. Bill O'Brien should be fired. I'm not going to disagree with you. Do we try to make a deal for Troy Smith? Or I can, you know, scout and go through the whole process. That's probably the smart option. How do I make plays in here? Is there another menu? Can I do it from within career mode? Oh, I have to pick a game plan. Practice about to start, Are you liking coach? head coach What's so far? Plan? I'm having a blast with it. No. Diggs just tweeted it's time for a new beginning. Better get Amari Cooper out of this. Something. Maybe Diggs is talking about something else, though. Maybe he's, uh... Maybe Diggs isn't talking about a trade. Maybe he's getting a new car. I think what Diggs is really excited about is Animal Crossing coming out. We've been, you know, it's been like eight years since the last Animal Crossing game. He's ready to start over, a fresh beginning. Or maybe Diggs is fed up with 2020 and wants to be 2021 already. This can't be happening.
but the Minneapolis miracle. All the good moments ever since that game he had the spot start against the Denver Broncos. <sighs> he and Mike Wallace are pretty good that day. Diggs is not going to the Giants. Like I said, he's probably just really excited about Animal Crossing. He's ready for, you know, a new game to sink his teeth into. That or he just ordered his Tesla Cybertruck. He's ready for a new beginning. Electric. No more fuel emissions and all that stuff. Diggs is not talking about tr trades, guys. What if he's just changing his profile pic on Twitter? The profile pick one, though, that could actually be it. If they trade Diggs, like... <sighs> after Thielen, there is almost nothing. BC Johnson... Great. Let him be the fourth receiver. Develop him. He was a seventh round pick. It is not Treadwell season. Chad Beebe? Yeah. Yeah, don't worry about digs. We have Chad Beebe. It'll be fine. Samuel, thank you for the super chat. It was the 14 cents to do with Diggs' number that will be remaining 14 because he's not going anywhere? Stacy Coley season. Stacy Coley was in the XFL this year, Blackjack. Stacy Coley's long gone. Oh, by the way, Blackjack, there's someone I'd like for you to meet right after I pick my game plan here, of course. Let's uh, work on our halfback screen knowledge. Blackjack, there's a new member of the John Charles family I think you should meet. I need to find my uh, approval menu here. Harley John Charles, the grandfather. To Hayden, Kelly, Sid, Courtney. I know I'm missing one. Harley Jean Charles. Head coach of the Miami Dolphins. Yeah, fantasy name generator gave me the idea. What a day. You guys might get to see me react to a Stefan Diggs trade. Although, I'm just saying, it would be totally on brand for Stefan Diggs to say, it's time for a new beginning, and then change his Twitter picture or something like that. That would be totally Diggs. Leslie, Kelly, Hayden, Courtney, Sydney, Taylor. There we go. Alright, let's continue. 
Not expecting Teddy Bridgewater to land with the Bears. Other quarterback options in plays there. In play there. Good. Yes. Prosper somewhere else, Teddy. So we practiced our halfback screen and actually got 11% mastery on it. Okay. We have some important dates here. We're obviously past uh, off-season and training camp. But the preseason begins soon. Hungry Gamer, thank you for the super chat. Kane pulling a urinating tree by reacting to the eventual Diggs trade while on stream. If it had to happen, I'd rather be live than not live. Who you keeping updated with? I uh, just... The Twitter feeds up and football news as it rolls in. It'll be there. Trade deadline, Super Bowl, Pro Bowl. Thank you for the schedule. I'm a coach. I already know the schedule. Jonathan Babineau traded to the Colts for a fifth and a seventh. No football on Saturdays. Seven days until we face Tampa Bay, everybody. Kane is about to be every Thunder fan after the Westbrook trade. Hey, they got Chris Paul, though. That means if we lose Diggs, we get Amari Cooper. Robbie Anderson. Julio to Minnesota. That's the kind of energy this chat needs. I don't want all the negativity right now from you guys. Julio to Minnesota. That's the kind of spirit we need. Great. Will Allen's hurt. Dislocated toe. You don't hear that injury pop up too often. Out one to two weeks. Does this tell me Devon Best would be an 80 overall corner? Oh, because it it doesn't know anything about the rookies yet. Oh, because Joey Thomas isn't playing is or practicing right now. Is that why he's lower? I don't know. Health and fatigue. We had the whole weekend and you're still at 60 fatigue? What have you been doing? Do you need, like, to go on IR or something? He's 34 and living in Miami. He don't care anymore. <laughs> All right, we got a progress report. What do we have here? The overalls you see for these players are based on small amounts of info unlocked each week. You won't know their true overall until the start of the regular season. Okay. A lot of these numbers are pretty high. I don't trust them at all. We have a failed goal. I couldn't trade for Dallas Clark, or uh, Desmond Clark, rather. Failed my very first goal. Great day. And now we have to make some cuts. 73 available, 3 remaining. 
All right, let's cut some 59 overall players. This shouldn't increase cap space, though, because cap should only account for the first, like, 50 players or so. Forget how it works exactly. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Anthony Fasano. I know what Anthony Fasano becomes. Like a good blocking tight end. What do you think we should work on today? I want to know more about Karan McAllister, but maybe that's not the right choice quite yet. How about playbook knowledge for rookie quarterback Chad Henney? Let's do a train rookie one this week. I want to see how that plays. Yeah, I need to get some mods on here, probably. Source, big name, D. Lyman is about to get traded and paid. One second, I'm trying to figure something out quick. Oh, it's saving. Hey, Big Smoke, I just made you a mod. I'm not taking, like, a bunch of mod requests. Um, I recognize a lot of names in here. Not everybody. But um, I might have to start adding on some mods because, yeah, the, the bots are getting out of control. Yeah, sports fan. Absolutely. I've known you on here for a long time. Like I said, I'm not taking a bunch of requests right now. I'm just kind of doing it based on people I remember and trust with this. Shaq Lawson, three years, 30 to the Dolphins. So like the same deal they gave to Eric Flowers. I'm going to take a break, everybody. Just going to go to the bathroom. So give me uh, just a minute. Oops.
Sup, everybody. King Kong, thank you for becoming a member. Wow, there are so many bots here. It's usually a sign the stream is doing pretty well. <sighs> you know what Diggs was probably talking about? He's probably just talking about it's the new year. It's the NFL new year. It's time for a new beginning. I agree. It's a brand new year. Kane, I'm not mod. I can't remove. Really? Because you should be. I wonder if this is just for uh, not live. Huh. Huh. Give me a moment, please, everybody. Yeah, because on my channel, it shows both of you as mods right now. Manage moderators. Can you two try to refresh the stream and see if it gives you permissions? Because you're showing you're showing up on my channel as moderators. It's saved. I've refreshed. Refreshed, it still doesn't work, huh? That is definitely strange. I'm trying just a different page. That's really weird. Give me a moment while I try to fix this. Um, set user as moderator. It's not even showing up as an option. That's the weird part. Oh. One second. I think I figured out the problem. It's a really silly problem. All right, this is gonna get fixed here in just a moment. All right, sports fan, you're now a mod. Big Smoke, you're a mod. And thank you guys for uh, offering to help me out with this. All right, looks like it's getting fixed now. Thank you all for offering to help and 
helping the experience here with the stream. We're having a pretty good time. Don't want the vibes to get to go down right now. I think everything is good to go now at this point. I'm just taking a look at a couple things. Trying to get to one menu that doesn't want to load for me right now for some reason. Alright. Blackjack, I think you're already a mod. So back to digs being traded. Yeah, that was actually more fun to deal with and talk about than... Than this. All right. Any videos today? Um, this might be all I have today. Rams might be willing to move on from Todd Gurley. Hmm. Diggs could definitely be trolling. It's definitely something he does. Doing pretty well, Mike. How you doing? All right. So back to the Dolphins here. Free agent bid for Sean Alexander. Are you interested in bidding on this player? No, I like our running back situation right now. I was a bit curious about how it works. But I'll wait until there's a player I want to sign. Good work, everybody. Thank you for all that. We almost have everybody uh, back to at least 80 fatigue. For some reason, we just can't make much progress here with Ross Verba. I do not know what he's doing. Why is this game so expensive now? Is this one in particular expensive? It's just scarcity. Hey, coach, it's only available on the secondary on market. There's no digital option to buy it. So the only option is to find it at a store or on eBay or something. And they're not making, not printing any more of these discs. <clears throat> Shout out to the mods for helping us out here. Kane, I am sick. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Mike. I know there's a lot of people battling the virus right now. I'm not sure if that's what you're dealing with, but yeah, it's it's rough out here right now. Just try to do your best, everybody, to stay safe and uh, wash your hands and stay clean. It's changing my options like every time uh, it comes up here. So let's do the Chad Henny upgrade again. I didn't see the results the first time. Donovan Darius, free agent bid. I'm interested enough to at least see what's here. So Atlanta's dealing with right, or uh, the Falcons and Panthers are going back and forth. The Rams are here. This is really cool. We're leading. Oh, we're down to two teams. 4.6. Do we go for it? Donovan Darius. I got 34 seconds going twice. I didn't realize it was going to go like that. I thought I had all the time left. That's okay. I think there will be more opportunities. Diggs was not traded. Yet. At all. Thoughts on the Titans re-signing Tannehill and tagging Henry? Makes you wonder if they should have flipped those around, huh? I don't know. I mean, I totally understand wanting to keep Tannehill. Had a pretty good season. 
but I'm not sure if it's going to uh, be smart to give that big deal after less than a year to see. All right, so here are the results from our last practice. Make sure to use the filters to check out the health and play knowledge reports. So we've been working on a number of different plays here. That's good. I was worried about, like, if we were just going one at a time that we'd never get anywhere. But it actually shows which plays we're being the most successful with. These are all, like, goal line runs, though. I don't care about this as much. Top 5 health lost. Jason Ferguson. Ooh, Ricky Williams. That fatigue is down. Same with Ronnie Brown. Play knowledge. Yeah, I mean, paying a running back big money isn't usually the right idea. I totally understand trying the tag. Maybe they're thinking, like, we got one more year to make this work, and then we're going to have to move on, which I could totally understand. JPP back to Tampa, two years, $27 million. Free agent bid for outside linebacker Takeo Spikes. Intriguing. Linebacker is already a strong position for us. Yes, Blackjack. Scott Player. Mitch Berger. Oh, man. Punter Mitch Berger. I have not added any players yet. Negotiations seem to have broken down last night. It looked hopeless. But I just received word, unexpectedly, that an agreement was finalized at the last possible minute. Both sides conceded on key issues to get the deal done, preventing a huge loss for the Rams. I don't even know what he's talking about. Health and fatigue. Oh, we're okay. Mostly. His fatigue just doesn't go up. Jason Ferguson has a quad contusion. So we have yet another minor injury here. This time at D-tackle. Hey, Coach, what do you want to work on today? Let's work on this cover three. I'm not sure if it's the same one I've already worked on once. Oh, Desmond Clark got traded to the Falcons. They wouldn't trade him to us. But they'll trade him to Atlanta. Okay. Okay, cost me a goal. Thanks, Chicago. Okay, so this was the same cover three we have done before. We have a lot more mastery now, thankfully. 26%, that's a lot after one, it seems. We're almost to our first preseason game. I might get into week one of the regular season. Negotiations seem to have broken down last night. It looked hopeless, but I just received word, unexpectedly, that an agreement was finalized at the last possible minute. Both sides conceded on key issues to get the deal done, preventing a huge loss for the Packers. <laughs> the same audio. New season goals. 
All right, we have to increase Jake Long's play knowledge to 30. It's at 15 right now. Samson Satelli to 33%. It's currently at 16. Add 10 new plays before the preseason is over. I need to create plays. I need to learn how to create plays. I'll design some stuff. Don't worry. The Packers. Yes. As a Viking fan, I really do not like the Packers. Are you getting a mobile quarterback? I don't know. There's like no quarterbacks available. And Pat White didn't exist in the game. The Packers. Troy Smith. Yeah, that would be a trade. I didn't know if I want to give up any picks or anything yet. I don't think that's a good idea. But we're almost to our first preseason game, everybody. We'll start to see what happens when you hit the gridiron here in NFL Head Coach. I'm a Viking fan, just the way I was raised and where I lived. Thank you, CEO, for the super chat and reminding me of Taquan Layton's overthrows. Last one was rough. Get signed Jamarcus Russell for the memes. <sighs> Wait, it's game day. Can't do like pregame pep talk. When's the game? Seven thirty. Time to take the field. I agree. Let's try Super Sim here. I have not really seen this before. So this is our very first preseason game. I'll get a little bit of control, I guess, over some things. I want to see to what degree of control I get. Now, I don't know what minute quarters I should be using. I guess we'll find out based on how many plays we get here. So I could actually choose a play here for our simming. And I'm actually, I have a play clock right now. Alright, let's try the power option. Run it. No gain. Let's try tight end drag. Sacked. Let's go shotgun. We have two plays. Two plays there? Uh, deep attack. Deflected. Alright. Uh, punt. Making me scroll to find punt. That's dangerous. All right, I'm going to do some simming here. Kind of cool that you can actually pick, uh, like, plays and whatnot for this. Fantastic opening drive, yes. Wasn't that bad. Great, thank you, Jeff Garcia. Garcia does it again. Joey Galloway, touchdown! Probably going to be a really uh, short game here with the quarter length at six. All right, let me try pistol. There's only one formation or something. Halfback screen, we practice this play. Sacked. Drag unders, incomplete. Hmm. Not going well. Luke Pettigoot is hurt. 
as Brian Greasy threw a touchdown to Warwick Dunn. Wow. Oh, man. Diggs just replied to somebody on Twitter saying that, you know, every time Diggs does this, sends an ominous tweet, then we get reports. Diggs says, no, this isn't one of them times, champ. Something's going to happen. I'll try one more drive. Halfback draw. Six yards. Counter strong. Eight yards. Power option. Going back to it. Four yard loss. All right. Tight end drag. Deflected. Why can't we complete the passes ever? All right, third and 14, cross up. Yes, 15 yards. Got it done. All right, new set of downs. Let's not get greedy here. All right. Halfback slam. Penalty on the defense. Accept that. Let's ask our coach what he thinks. Halfback dive. Another run. Third and one. Keep running the football. Three more yards. We're into the red zone now, everybody. Uh, let's go tight end drag. Intercepted! It's showing me the thrown at allowed interceptions. Wow. John Beck. Five passes in. I'm ready to cut them. All right, the game's going to play out now. I can't believe that Diggs is getting traded. If they have to trade Diggs, they better get a ton. I hope it's to a terrible team that just gives up so much. Sup, Kane? How you feel about Tannehill's new deal? It's a lot, Mark. It's a lot. Um, you know, I totally get it. It's one of those situations where it's like, if you're not going to do it, what do you do? Because you got to have a quarterback that can give you a decent level of play. Tannehill did that last year. So you're kind of stuck having to pay, you know, whatever market value is. I think, you know, keeping him and Derrick Henry is a good call. I want to see the terms of that deal. We're losing 28 nothing, by the way. Four years, $118 million, $20 million signing bonus, $91 million guaranteed. The cap hit ain't that bad this year, 22 and a half, then 29 and a half. Um, you know, they're locked into it for two years, really. It's a really standard quarterback contract from the looks of things. John Beck was atrocious today. Two for seven. Aaron Brooks was one for five. Running the football. Eight for 36 for Ronnie Brown. What a horrible day. We had an interception at least. 
They keep track of blocks defeated, big hits, and hurries. Are you kidding me? Thrown at, catches allowed, and that actually works. And I can see how many yards they allowed. No way. This game is something else. Cadillac went off in garbage time, did he? Cadillac Williams, 66 and a touchdown. Did he have any catches? Whoa, Ike Hilliard. Blackjack, Ike Hilliard. Giants legend. Yeah, we'll get into a game, I think, week one. By the way, how many plays were run in this game? There were not many attempts. We had 12, they had 17. Yeah. Progress report, what do we got? I don't really know what to do with these progress reports yet because it's all incomplete data. So, just kind of move on. Twenty percent. All right, we're moving on to the new week. We have Jacksonville in week two. Yeah, maybe veterans don't have a lot of stamina here. I'm not going to uh, worry about the 60s now because it wasn't going up anyway. Maybe 60 is his full stamina. I wouldn't want to trade Diggs for Alshon. <sighs> I was, you know, daydreaming yesterday about what if they add Brashad Perriman to the mix with Diggs and Thielen. That would be a cool fit. Scouting report on Jacksonville. They like this play action double out. Or they had success on it. They had six yards on it. Here's all the plays they have run. Okay. Can I see my uh, settings from here? Pause career settings. Coach clipboard. What's that? Oh. I could delegate certain things. I don't want to delegate anything yet. When you get into a game in here, can you play part of it, like, on the field and then sim part of it? Or is it kind of one or the other?
I don't think we need two punters. We have eight corners right now. Paul Soli, I had a decent career. Let's keep him for now. Hey, Kane, I'm starting an NCAA 14 dynasty with no player above a 70 overall. Any advice? Athletes are the best to recruit. Um, good luck. Back to the game plan here what before the Jacksonville on? game. Good job there. Hey, Rec, thank you for the super chat. With the moves Baltimore has made, trading for Campbell and adding a second rounder, do you think they can still become the team to beat in the AFC, or is it still KC? I mean, I don't see them unseating KC for that title, but I can see them being the one and two easily. I don't think anybody else is on that level in the AFC. Still give the edge to Kansas City for now, but I'm sure we're going to see a lot of back and forth between these two teams for a long time. Free agent bid on Ty Law. Do we want to join in on this bidding? No. New Broncos episode tomorrow will be up. Hey coach, what How do we want to practice How can I get to the point today? where I'm making my own plays? Can someone help me with that? I want to build a couple plays. It's like a goal to make 10 before the end of preseason. I want to at least be able to accomplish that. Oh. I guess that answers my question. Play creator. Enter the play creator. What's going out today? Probably just this stream. I don't have anything done for the second channel right now. Um, I'm not sure if there'll be a second channel video tomorrow. I'm still going to work on some stuff today, but I probably won't be able to finish anything is all. I'm going to do some editing and whatnot. All right, let's build a play. A passing play. Simple creator. I don't know what the difference is yet. Select the play you want to add to your playbook. Simple deep pass. Simple quick pass. Simple screen. Simple play action pass. Okay. Test play. Against cover three. That's pretty cool. Watching us run this play. <laughs> what is that throw? C 
Come on, man. I can't start John Beck for a season. What are your thoughts on the Bolts roster moves? Resigning Eckler, tagging Henry. Um, I think it's been... Those moves have been good. I thought the Eckler deal was a really good value because he's uh, one of the best receiving backs and I think he's worth more than he got. And my main question is just what they're doing at quarterback because if they got Brady, that'd be fun. Their, their roster is set up in good position to win. It's just they're coming off a really strange year. I still think Anthony Lynn's a good coach. I still think their defense is really good and they have all these playmakers on offense, but... It was a weird year, and it just didn't really matter a whole lot. Yeah, I'll do some more with MLB. Not sure what yet. Keep it. Let's start over. Advanced creator now. I'm making this next one. We don't have much in our shotgun yet, so why don't we build a shotgun passing play? Hmm. Alright, what kind of concept should we do here? Let's build a, a concept. This is going to be... Alright, I got what I want here. We're going to have Gin Motion here to rate about here. Okay? And I want to have a deep cross. Maybe I can draw the route. Can I actually draw it? I guess I have to do like a deep post. Can I just see if this got set up properly? I want him to motion and run a post. Let's have it against uh, cover two. Let's see what it looks like. Alright, so Gin motions. Split the safeties with him. We build the rest of this concept. So Gin's going to be on that deep post. We're going to take Hagen here. We're going to have him run. A medium post. I don't want a post necessarily. I really want like an in. Can I set the depth of these routes? That might work. What I want here is for Gin to come in motion. Him to run the deep post, where I want Hagen to try occupying the middle linebacker. Or, I could have the tight end do something, and I could have uh, the slot do anything else. Well, let's say this is a six-man protection. Let's have him run a deep curl. Uh -huh. I hope there's no intersection there at any point. All right, let's see this simple play in action. against cover two. No, I do not like that. It's too deep. I want a quicker cut from the slot. I thought you could edit a route directly and have it just be custom. How do you do that? 
Is that not a thing? Like a custom route? Tight end's just gonna block here. It's not the exact distance I'd want the route. This whole play is designed to try to manipulate the middle linebacker in cover two. Yeah, earlier Madden's definitely had like a route creator. I could have swore this game did too. Yeah. Medium in. That might be more what I'm looking for. Oops. <clears throat> Just want to see it one more time in action here. Then I'll set the progressions. Yeah, that's still a deep. Way too deep. Maybe a, maybe a short in will work. Love to see one of these work where Gin gets open downfield, but it hasn't really happened yet. Linebacker carries him pretty well. That works. What should we call this play? I think you have to name it. Let me set my progressions here. Primary, secondary, third, fourth. One more time. Gain a five. When you select route, try hitting square to continue. Maybe you get more options. I was hoping he'd snap it like pre-motion. He wasn't on the line of scrimmage. But it makes him get set. Yeah, I know that the middle linebacker there is covering it. I, I wasn't sure if the linebackers could carry, if they'd be fast enough to handle it. They're just testing it out. Either way, we're manipulating the middle of the field and opening up that underneath otherwise. All right. Keep it. All right, first play we've created there, motion deep post. And it's going to be a sometimes play. Call it sometimes. Vikings re-sign Britton Colquitt, their punter. Things are happening.
We'll find out square. I'll go back into there at some point. How long have I been live, by the way? Two and a half hours. Wow. Starting to get the hang of this game, I think. What do you want to tackle today? Now let's practice our quarterback sneak. Let's work on this halfback dive. Yes, thank you. If you haven't already My done so, please leave a like on the video. After the week's last practice, in talking to both head coaches, it's hard not to. How think come the learned went down? Did the learned turn into like mastery or something? We'll see how much the game plans affect the outcome this week. Kind of weird. Coach, what do you think about this guy? Brandon Seiler, 80 overall, 22 years old. Sure, let's have some fun. I win. We have signed Brandon Seiler. $2.4 million. Coach, we're all ready to go over his contract. Roster's already full. It's fine. I'm still in week two of the preseason. It's been like two hours. Oh, man. But it's been fun. I have two running backs. I need to sign a running back. Well, we have to sign a running back. Cedric Houston? Sure. Let's see if we can keep this a small deal but make it happen. 75 overall. There we go. We signed Cedric Houston. Yeah, I saw we had two fullbacks. Kind of weird. Where are my things to do? Game reminder. Game day, coach. I don't know how much longer I'll stream. This is uh, running a, a bit long. I usually stream, you know, two to three hours. Let's just sim this game. I'm not sure I'll get to week one now to play it full. Your approval rating goes up and down. It just went up. Yes. We, we got a goal completed. What happened? Oh, we got some approval change for our success with the staff. Okay. I'll take it. 65 approval now. Goal completed. Play Joey Porter. Play 50 downs during the preseason. Oh, that's simple. We got two successful goals for playing time. We lost 42 to 7. Josh McCown picked off twice. Man, we can't complete a pass. We ran the ball four times. 
Where are all the plays? I changed it to 15 minute quarters and we obviously played in the game with 49 points scored. So where are all the plays? Derek Hagan, one for 41 yards. Jacksonville passed the ball a moderate amount. Whoa. They ran the ball like 50 times. What happened? 32 between Taylor and Simons. MJD gets six. What's with this? We had 97 yards. Two of nine on third down. Just atrocious. 14 minutes of play time for us. Time of possession. I guess we have a long way to go with this team. I wonder how much of this has to do with the uh, situation with our playbooks. Yeah, Beck is playing awful. What if we played Chad Henney just to see what he could do? Let's give Chad Henney a shot. I'll play backbreaker again I did a lot with that game so I'd like to move on to some other stuff like NFL head coach not sure if I'll be able to chop this up into an episode or episodes very well for the second channel but I'll give it a shot had to experiment to find out and it's been fun not too worried about preseason game planning here Cut day. Too many cut days. I thought I signed a second running back. What happened? Or a third running back. I have 12 offensive linemen. That's too many. I wish they give me more uh, um, information on these players, like age and everything. I'm just seeing contract and overall, which isn't quite enough information for me. I dismissed the contract talks. Oh, I didn't even realize that. Hey, coach, what do you want to tackle today? Let's practice our counter. All right, got a little more mastery there.
NFL Tour didn't have like a lot of modes that you could do a lot with. I enjoyed playing the game, but it just wasn't a very deep game. Same thing with All Pro Football 2K8. Like the season mode was so basic. When uh, the game is fun to play, and I'd be down to play again. But I wish there was simply more to it. I actually thought about it. It's probably going to be backwards here, but uh, I had it set out because I'm like, oh man, it'd be fun to make a team right now and play. What are we working on today? Halfback dive. And we'll see how Chad Henney plays, I guess. I mean, he doesn't have to do much to impress us at this point. We're looking for like 50% completion and no turnovers. I'd be thrilled with that. Yeah, all pro, like, 2K's football gameplay is really fun. Can't wait to see what they're working on now. What drills are we gonna run today? Why don't we give Chad Henney one more training here before his first preseason start? Miami finished up its final practice this afternoon, and after talking to its head coach, it seems as if it's ready for this week's matchup. In fact, both teams seem equally prepared and ready for this game. Oh, what? I thought there was going to be some news or something. Oh, hey, it gave us some progress for a bunch of plays. That's cool. Okay. Let's go back into the play creator now that it's showing up here. I want to check that one thing before I forget about it. Maximum football? Yeah, I played that once in a stream. Uh, rough around the edges, but hopefully they can continue to update it. I haven't played like any of the new patches or anything. I just played it that one day. Let's build another pass play out of the pistol this time. All right, what formation here? Um, let's go twin tight end. H twin tight end. That's a one receiver look. Oh, well, let's build a, a pass play here. So if I go to change assignments... Square was just the continue option. Change assignment. I thought there was a custom route option. Whoa, DeForest Buckner to the Colts? Wow, for a first round pick. Man. I mean, they have a lot of D-line talents, so they can afford it, but it is sacrificing a bit of a strength. A dominant strength.
bet it's not a crossing pattern. Drag. Just building a simple play here. I wish I could run it against the random defense. Ooh, look at that throw. Is Chad Henney throwing right now? I don't remember his number. Drilled that one twice. Let's see this one more time. Just built a simple short pass. And, ooh, that one got jumped, almost picked off. We're two for three, though, running this so far against this look. I like it. I can't believe that trade. Awesome, we got ourselves a nice play here. Give me a play name, everybody. I got nothing right now. Give me a play name. Curly posty. <laughs> Digs, please stay. Clear out Z posts. I like it. Want me to add 10 plays. That's a start. Hey, coach, ready to start the day's game? Sure am. Can't wait. <laughs> Create a defensive play? Yeah, I can do that. All right, what we did, we lost. 33-3. to three. McCown was picked off twice. Henny, he was 4 for 12. We were sacked eight times in this game. The running average is okay. Ted Ginn, 49 yards. You get more big catches here than in Madden 20, that's for sure. Got a pick with Joey Porter and 12 tackles. That's a lot of production. 
Let's go to the team stats page, though. 392 for Kansas City. 17 first downs. Pretty good on third down for the defense, but atrocious on offense. Red zone defense was fine. 11 penalties? Like, we're not doing anything well with this team. Alright, we got that one done. So we completed the Jake Long goal. I guess we completed the Joey Porter goal as well. We still have a few more in progress, it looks like. Let's place him on IR. He's the last receiver on the depth chart. I want to see my goals again. Okay, if I don't add 10 plays, that actually is going to hurt, so I need to do that. Want to make a defensive play? Yeah, I can do some simple plays. I think I'll do that for most of them, but I just wanted to make a few to get used to it. Yeah, Chris Ballard's a great GM. I just want to make one blitz. This is going to be a... We're going to show a lot of pressure on this one, I hope you know. We're going to have the corner back off just a tad. All right, we're gonna design a blitz here. How about that? So the assignment here is going to be a deep middle zone, deep third. It's gonna be a cover three. Not in the middle, though. Let's fix that. Outside third. Oops. I don't think that's the right one. I think that's the quarters. Outside third. Okay, so cover three. I know what I want. I want a little hook zone here. We're going to blitz this safety here. How wild should I get with this blitz design? 
Jadevian Clowney agrees to a four-year contract. That's fake. That's fake. Fake. Fake account. Should we design this to be like a really fun overload? I don't know if I can have him cover the zone I want him to cover. Yeah, I want him to kind of cover where this linebacker should be. So... That definitely affects how I can set this up. You have to move him over, probably. How far do I have to move him, though? Now it's not going to be as flashy. Just try getting him on that half, you think? If I shift him just a little bit this way, is that enough to change his hook area? It's supposed to be a side hook. Well, that gets him focused on that side at least. That's middle. So that's kind of the best I can do with that. All right. It should be called Cover Dog. I only get so many options here. So how crafty can I get then with some of the uh, the blitzes? I can do stunts. Now this would be like a, a third down play, so let's try to find a pass that would be maybe what somebody would call on a third down. Something deeper, maybe. I don't have to motion, it's just practice right now. Do I think the Hopkins trade will be like the Beckham trade last year? I think this would be a bit more successful. Nice. K 
Kane, you should watch My Hero Academia. I've never, uh, never watched it. I've definitely heard of it. Yeah, it is getting a little pressure, and it's covering this play really well. I like how this is performing. See, that's a, that's at least a tight window. Nothing easy. So there's my first blitz I've created. I need a good name for it. Sad cane blitz. It's not a sad blitz. Yeah, we could just go with the basic name. Probably could just abbreviate this with C. Whoops. Um I can't get to numbers? Why? That's weird. How do you... Why can't I use numbers? It won't let me go up there. Oh well. Strong safety blitz. I have nothing else. I should add some simple plays though. That takes a lot of time to do. I at least want to get through preseason here. Thirds crash middle. I kind of like that one a lot more. That's a lot better. Want to make sure that recorded because I certainly added at least one simple play to my playbook and it didn't record. I've made three plays and it's counted those. So let's see if I can add one simple play in it, um, registers. Let's manage plays. Oh, those are my created plays. That is definitely incorrect. The way that play art is incorrect. I think I have to go back to play creator. I shouldn't have to make seven custom plays right now, or ten total. It's definitely been a fun stream, though. Alright, offense... Run play, simple. I want shotgun run. Like shotgun inside zone. I don't want the quarterback run, no. Like if I had a fullback dive. Go to defense, simple creator, simple cover two. 
That's two. Five. I need two more. Hopefully this works. One more. I just added seven simple plays to the playbook. I have to build seven more plays? Why isn't that working? Has to be advanced plays. I already tried clicking on it, it wasn't working. Can you edit simple plays? Maybe. Like, it's not something I should just skip because I don't want to lose the, the points. I get penalized for not doing it. I'm gonna do some really simple plays though. Wait. Edit existing. Maybe it's talking about editing plays I've already made myself. Okay, so I can kind of uh, take some base plays here. There's a lot of them. I wanna create new. I wish they would let me uh, look through these plays a bit friendlier. Halfback stretch. It's probably a faster way to do it. That's one more. I need six more. I'm 
now why do I only have so many to choose from? Oh, I need advanced creator, create new, there. Now let's go with a three wide run. I am, I started in preseason and I am still there like three hours later. Let's add a defensive play. It's actually making me build it. So never mind. Pass play, advance creator, create new, shotgun, normal. All right, so. Let's have a deep in route here. Deep in. have a short in Alright, six man protection again, I guess. I don't know what I want to do with this tight end. Pass block. Have him motion here. On a wheel. All right, let's see what we got here. I wanted to do like a nice little levels concept. But I didn't know what I want to do with uh, the tight end there. So we kind of have a two-man levels look here on the left side. And then the idea of the post is just to kind of occupy the attention of the strong safety and the strong side linebacker. Gonna edit the progressions quick. All right.
So how many more do I have to add now? Does anybody remember? Five now? Okay. I might do more like those QB choices and some other stuff depending on like who we get as a quarterback at some point or whatever. I'm not even sure if those plays will run that properly here. So that's one more thing you just have to keep in mind. Not out of the preseason yet, no. What is it, two more? Or is it three more? Run that very infrequently. One day we'll run that play. <clears throat> Thank you for all the support today. It's been a very fun stream. And I would like to play more of this. Wish I could do numbers here. Can't. <clears throat> they called it zone read, which I don't really want to call it zone read. This is called Zone Run, because it doesn't have enough options for the naming. I can't use numbers. That's ridiculous. I think they'll patch it. I guess I'm making a defensive play here. You know what? I'm going to do a concept that I've been very intrigued with for a while. Whoops. We're going to have... Whoops. Man coverage. Here. We're going to have... Man coverage here. And we're going to have... 
man coverage. You get it by now. We're going to have man coverage for everybody except the safeties. Should allow us a bit more creativity here with some of our safeties. Does he know that's a cover one or does he think that's cover three? I can't even do like the number one rate here. Cover one man or cone man. Cone man. That's our play. Cone man. God. Oh boy. What was it? One more? Another baseball franchise and not with the Twins. Yeah, I'm probably going to try doing something. I, I've been thinking about what I want to do on the game and... Um, Something similar to what I do with the Bucks might be the way I want to go. I really like uh, that format and I like the speed of it. Alright, so I think I'm good on this. I can get to the end of preseason at least. I will stream MLB again, yes, but I wanted to play head coach. Many have wanted me to give this a chance for a long time. Would you ever consider playing FIFA, Kane? Absolutely, Sly. I uh, am very interested actually in playing FIFA, especially if I can maybe get someone to teach me a little bit. I got some friends that might be able to help me out and just give me a baseline knowledge, a place to start. Like, FIFA has so much depth to it. They have so many different leagues and teams, and I think it'd be a lot of fun if I kind of knew what I was doing just a little bit enough. Um, it's a bit tougher to do series the way I like to do them when I have such a low understanding, and that's why baseball and football has been what I really stuck with. A lot of other games are kind of unforgiving with your mistakes. Goodbye, Anthony Fasano. Alright, we're going to get to the end of preseason week four. It's been like three hours of real... Of, uh, it's been about three hours of real time. And we're just about done with the preseason, so we're working at a very nice pace today. Hey, coach. We have another How game plan to option. Practice? Let's work on that cover three. We're going to master that as our base defense. There we go. 29% mastery. Getting better. Eric Moulds is a free agent in this game. Good coach, jump in and make 72 a overall, though. Okay, we'll move on.
One more game plan. What should we focus on? Let's focus on one of the plays that I built. I had some good ones there. Let's go bunch fade. That looks like a cool play. Maybe a nice shot play. The Miami Dolphins are headed into this weekend's matchup less prepared than their opponent, according to my sources. I'll give the coaches the benefit of the doubt, but I've got a feeling that their game plan could come back to haunt them. Oh, come on. You're watching the NFL Network. Come on. What do you mean? Unprepared? You think I've spent three hours in this preseason to not be prepared? I have not overlooked anything. How long do you give until Mike Zimmer gets fired? Uh, I don't think he is anytime soon, Steven. I think Zimmer's a really good coach, and I don't think that there's going to be a, a need to fire him anytime soon. Oh, a team philosophy. I can give this uh, some attention. The backgrounds are really nice. Yeah, and it changes depending on the city you're in, too. Oh, that's all about hiring. Let's talk about career development. Oh, I can't really do anything with that yet. Oh, I can edit all my philosophies for each position. Okay. I want a mobile and speed quarterback for this team. Sub player at heavy fatigue, sub player at low health. Roster minimum three. Before the days of only having two quarterbacks. How about running back? Balance. Yeah, I like balance. Okay. That's pretty cool. Michael, thank you for the super chat. I know that this should be for a stream for the other channel, but maybe for an MLB franchise you do Seattle. They're a team I'm considering, definitely. I haven't looked too deep into the rosters of the teams I was considering yet. Yes, yes, yes. Let's get to game day. I'm not signing somebody an hour before we take the field in our final it's preseason game. game. Day. All right, everybody. Preseason's finally coming to an end. And we go 0-4. Losing to New Orleans, 31-10. Five interceptions. Zero quarterback rating for both quarterbacks who played. 0 for 5. 4 for 17. Why is it so hard to complete passes in this game? 18 for 72. Focus on the rushing here. This is where we're going to shine. But man, the receiving is going to be tough this year. I don't even know why it's this bad, but it's atrocious. I can't believe we even had 27 minutes with that. 4 for 22. 5 picks from our quarterbacks. Yes. That's where we're at here with the Miami Dolphins. What's going on, Not the Expert? How you doing, man? You know, last night, funny you're here. Um, I was thinking of an idea I had for uh, a stream and video series deal. And I was like, oh, what if I had a team of nothing but quarterbacks and then a team of nothing but running backs, a team of nothing but receivers and built a bracket? That guy did it. Not the expert did it on Madden 18. I thought about the idea for a while. And I'm like, oh, that's so cool. I'm going to write that down. And I'm like, oh, let me look up and see if someone's done this before. Sure enough, big old Drewski had the idea years ago. You order this game on Amazon today? There's a lot of depth to it. Kind of weird at times, but there have been so many moments where as soon as I've gotten in, uh, to something I'm like whoa just got to take a step back. I completed that goal. Thankfully I made 10 plays today Pre-season 
preseason promise. Here are we don't my have any promise. For next oh, I have coach. to go for some approval here. So I'm going to lose some right away if I'm honest and I say we're not going to win very many games. We're certainly not going to win the Super Bowl or a conference title or anything. Took ages to set up, but yeah, those position tournaments were a lot of fun. You could try rebuilding teams when they start with only one position. I have considered that. I've had a lot of different ideas around that. But okay, what are we going to promise? Everyone wants to know. What are we guaranteeing here? As a team that went 0-4, completed like 20 passes all preseason, we were just atrocious. We're going to finish below 500. Be honest, but not too honest. I like your approach. We're going to finish below 500. That gives us some wiggle room to still be telling the truth. So, approval takes a little hit there, but... Not as much as if I promised more and failed miserably. So, the owner is not happy. Probably slashed season ticket sales by like 13% based off that. And here we got... More progress. I doubt that Chad Henney is actually... Oh, 83 potential, 74 overall. So here as a rookie, Chad Henney has some potential. Does he have the potential to run our pistol offense with 48 speed? Not sure about that. Philip Merling, 77 overall, 83 potential. That's pretty promising. So I guess Chad Henney is going to get a chance. But I don't think he's going to succeed with the chance. Overall, I don't think we have any serious injuries going into the season. We did have a few that were like one to two week injuries for the preseason. This is not the Adrian Peterson you are thinking of. This is the Adrian Peterson that went to... What school was it? He had a really good college career, by the way. He was with the Bears. I forget where he went to college. I cannot remember. Where did Adrian Peterson go to college? And not... Not Adrian Peterson Vikings. Georgia Southern? Is that true? Ron Dane. Was it really Georgia Southern? Triple option. DeAndre Hopkins got traded to the Cardinals, everybody. What do you think of that? <laughs> the wildest news of the day. Scouting report on the Jets. Our rivals. They run the ball 77% of the time. Okay. It's a little overboard if you ask me. Yeah, Bill O'Brien did not have a very good day. I wonder if he realizes that. Alright, final cut day. Gotta cut four players. We're not gonna carry four quarterbacks. Aaron Brooks, 77. Josh McCown, 72. Let's release Aaron Brooks. There is no penalty. I have one tight end. I should probably change that situation. How many offensive linemen is that? One, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A little on the higher end. I usually carry about eight. Rob Ninkovich had no idea he was with the Dolphins at any point in his career. Okay, too many defensive tackles. Yeah. 
Young quarterback starts. What do we have here? Chad Henney, current starting quarterback. This veteran gives us the best chance to win now. This kid is the future of our franchise. I think they have those backwards. Start the rookie, start the veteran. We're starting the rookie quarterback. Wait a minute. That would be... If I hit start rookie, it should start Chad Henney. Correct? What do we want to practice today? And one of our final practices before week one. Why don't we work on... Oh, we have just like philosophy here too. We have to work on our quarterback play. Obviously, we have to complete half our passes. I'll check the depth chart, yeah. Game plan versus running. Blitzing quick passes. I want to work on the offense. Alright, we're going to play action passes then. That's at least offensive focused. did mess that up we're just going to have our fullbacks play tight end I've accepted what this team is going to be do you want me to sim the first game and then we can end it today, or what would you like to see? I could simulate the first game, and then we could call it a day. <clears throat> well, if I play it, I have to play it next time. Because the stream's Schiff, running a bit NFL long Network, for me right now. Your draft update. The we top are has been announced, almost four and hours USC in. is currently in the number one spot. It's so we'll, we'll do Texas, it next time then, Florida, which might be Oklahoma, Wednesday or Thursday Virginia or something. Five. As far as the best returning seniors in this draft class, my current top five seniors I'll be here making are Arizona content. quarterback Mike Zizelli, we'll Missouri linebacker Chase Beck, Bonnie Mendenhall from Michigan, Notre Dame defensive back Jerome Bartell, and Wisconsin's Tim White. I'll be watching these players all season long, as you should. Practice about to start, coach. What's the plan? Four, yeah, four hours in, no game. Although I did spend a fair amount of time reacting to NFL news. But yeah, also building plays and just seeing everything in this mode. Doesn't feel like it's been that long. And you can simulate a lot of it. I just haven't simmed a single thing. Uh-oh. We have a couple goals failed here, everybody. Approval change. It's down to 60. The staff. What is happening? We did not complete a season goal. I don't know what goal we failed, but the entire staff now is not approving of me. How about this one? Okay, here are the goals. We failed to get Samson Satelli's knowledge to 33%. It was merely 25. Same for Ronnie Brown. Had to get the 31, only got the 25. So, that's disappointing. We have new goals, though. More goals for me to fail. Yeah, win three out of first four games. I'm sure that'll happen. The fans want you to crush the Bills in week eight. We just finished the preseason. Why do you care about the Bills game? Come on! How am I supposed to do that? Win rookie of the year with left tackle Jake Long? How am I going to do that? Start throwing him the ball as a second tight end? This 
This is impossible. They've given me an impossible environment to succeed. New York told me they've been working on the defensive side of the ball in practice. They want to make sure that their run defense is dominant this week. Shutting down their opponent's run game will force them to pass and ultimately get them off the field. Hard-hitting news there, Shefty. What do you want to tackle today? Boost the abilities of offensive linemen. Somehow we got to get Jake Long the Rookie of the Year. There's no negative if we fail. The Dolphins coaches I spoke to today seem very confident heading into this weekend's matchup. They feel that their game plan gives them the edge to pull out the victory. I'm Tony Dunsey, and you're watching NFL yeah, Network. We're, uh, the staff that just lowered their approval by a good 6%. They feel confident about week one after the most atrocious preseason performance we could have put together. Draft preview, everybody. We haven't even played a game yet. And we have a draft preview. Give us a sense of the strengths at each position, including sleepers and busts. All right, I want to know about these quarterbacks. The sleeper is P. Lacey. The overrated player is M. Barnes. So an overrated USC quarterback. It's a three-star strength, so quarterback isn't particularly strong. Receiver should be. Tight end is okay. The offensive line class isn't great, but that's not a need of ours right now. Um, very strong defensive tackle class, so maybe a good chance there. But cornerback doesn't even have a star. No stars at all. So that's the class we're looking at this year, it looks like. That's a cool feature. An overrated quarterback from USC. The realism in this game is amazing. Exactly. Wouldn't this be Mark Sanchez's draft year? Wasn't... Or when was he drafted? Wasn't he drafted 09? Oh, yes, he was. Cannot wait to get into scouting and all this stuff. Combine workout, senior bowl, personality, full biography, I guess. NFL comparison. Man, this is so cool. We'll pick it up next time, everybody. That is a good start here, though. An NFL head coach 09 with the Miami Dolphins. I think we could have a lot of fun with this series as I learn this mode. And I think a lot of you are excited for this. So definitely leave your feedback. Let me know what you think. And if you're watching this on the second channel, I'm streaming on the main channel, which should be linked in a card. And that's where you can help impact the series. And then the stream will turn into episodes. That's the plan anyway. I haven't actually done this before, but that's what my idea is at the moment. So that is about all I want to do for this one, everybody. That was uh, a fun start. Jack Conklin to the Browns, three years, $42 million. Good move. They had a good offensive line for a short while, and then that went away, and now they got to work on that again. Thank you for spending some time with me, everybody. I'll be live again um, shortly this week. I won't be live tomorrow, but I'll have a lot more content coming your way. Obviously, with everything going on, staying home is what a lot of us are doing, and while that's the case, I'd like to be a good source of entertainment for you give you something to do to spend your time and hopefully you enjoyed the the time you had here today please leave a like and subscribe if you did enjoy it it's game but time. that's gonna do it for me 
No Stefan Diggs trade to react to yet, but I'm bracing for impact now. Ah. You too, Drewski. I'll be uh, keeping up on what you're up to, especially if you're diving into head coach at any point. It's a fun game. Uh, have a good one, everybody. That's it for today.